Hello, Lord Sarwick. Lord Varys? It is too bad these surroundings are not as pleasant as our last encounter. How has your stay been? Long. I had expected a quick trial when the men of the City Watch came to arrest me. I was mistaken. You are the first person to come and visit me. Why are you here? Usually my only visitors are rats. You see, the fact that you don't seem to care about yourself rather pleases me. Your escape will go unnoticed for quite some time. My escape? Someone decided to help me out of here. I am here to serve you, my Lord Sarwick. What could you possibly gain from that? The balance of the Seven Kingdoms is delicate, and I predict more upheaval to come. It is clear that you have a role in what is to come. Thank you for your concern, but I refuse to leave these cells as a fugitive. I prefer to await my trial and defend my name before the Crown. You are quite the optimist. I am sorry if I've ruined your plans. I intend to meet with the Queen. I must take back Riverspring and keep that traitor Valar from getting his hands on it. To do that, my name must be cleared. Otherwise, how can I plead my case before the Queen? Cleared? You've killed Goldcloaks, my friend. Who has accused me? One of Valar's soldiers? Then it will be my word against his. I see. It may not go as smoothly as you imagine. Believe me when I tell you that it will be several more weeks before your trial. In the meantime, Savala will have wed your sister. Valar is the one who truly preoccupies you, is he not? That's why you're here, making this proposal. Only the kingdom preoccupies me, my friend. That said, we may find common ground. I'm listening. I can get you an audience with the Queen. Today, if you wish it. I doubt that a fugitive would be allowed to approach her, much less speak to her. You only knew Cersei Lannister as a naive young princess, dear man. Since her marriage, she has become a strong-willed queen with a burning ambition, well-versed in intrigue. She has been filling the court with her creatures for years now. So? Thus, the virtue she prizes above all else is loyalty, which she rewards generously. That is how Savala moved up in court, and therein, paradoxically, lies your opportunity. Swear blind allegiance to the Queen, become her devoted servant, and she will give you what you desire. And you believe that Valar will just sit there and allow me to thwart his ambitions? Oh, I doubt that very much. It is quite likely that he will strike back at you eventually, but in front of the Queen, he won't dare to use force. Of course, he will try to remind her of her commitments, but she has never been capable of the same loyalty that she demands of her men. Impress her, make yourself more desirable than your rival, and you will win. Is Valar sly enough to have wronged the master of Whisperers himself? Your half-brother is much more intelligent than he appears. And he has a powerful ally who has begun to move her pawns forward. As for the details, those are my concern. Excellent, Varys. How do you plan on getting me out of here? As you may imagine, I have no desire to be seen in the company of a fugitive when I go back up. You'll have to manage on your own. Here is the key to your cell. Once I've left, you will leave and head towards the guardroom. You will find the guard asleep at his post. I'll wager that he was served a particularly strong glass of wine. Very well. And the others? Surely the King's prisons are not guarded by just one drunk man. Don't worry. In the very depths of the Red Keep, there are paths known only to ghosts and spiders. Are you saying that the throne room can be accessed through secret passages without being seen by anyone? Indeed. When the Red Keep was built, King Magor the Cruel made certain that the fortress walls were all connected by a vast network of secret passages. These passages allowed his spies to see and hear everything that occurred in every room in the Keep. It is said that Magor had every man who worked on its construction executed in order to keep the passages secret. 
Apparently that was not enough. Indeed. But don't forget, Lord Sarwig. It is my duty to stay informed. I am the only one who knows all of its entrances and the full extent of its meanderings. I see. Then tell me how to access the throne room. Pass by the row of cells across from yours. Look for the one with a flagstone on the floor bearing the sigil of the Targaryen dragon. It is a passage towards the tunnels. Past that point, be on your guard. Very well. But do not expect my gratitude. I am sure that helping me serves your plans. I will await you at the end of the passage to give you access to the throne room, where you will meet the Queen. Good luck, Lord Alistair, and I will see you soon. By the flame! It's our quartermaster. So he's the one I heard yelling. May Relor welcome him to his light. Wine's too strong, eh? Obviously Varys truly knows how to live. There, the dragon. The passage that Varys told me about must be hidden in that cell. Relor, guide me. You who see all, reveal to me what is hidden in the dark.
Did you really think he could come through here? We don't even know where he here is. Let's keep looking, agreed? That's right. We'll keep looking. My lord, one might say that you arrived just in time. You? Who are you? What are you doing in these tunnels? Lord Veris sent me. He was worried that you wouldn't find your way alone. Well, how very considerate of him. I was beginning to think that he'd sent me here to get lost. I was also to warn you that the gold cloaks seek you. But those brutes found me first. I saw that. Enough talk, child. You know the way out of here? Then show me. Of course, my lord. Follow me. For fuck's sake, it's still closed. Go back into the guards room, would you, my lord? There must be a winch next to the arrow slit.
There's a door over here. If only I could find the mechanism. Let me see. We're arriving in the crypts. We must go back up now. Just a second, all right? We've got company. This is where I leave you, my lord. I'm not permitted to show myself on the occupied floors of the Red Keep. Why? Do you also have problems with the law? No, but Lord Varys doesn't want the court to know too much about his little birds. He's quite insistent on that. Go up one more floor. On your right, you'll see a passage leading to the entrance to the dungeons. Lord Varys will find you there.
In that case, go, before the other guards arrive. You've been a great help. The honor was all mine, my lord. Good speed. Alistair, finally. I had begun to worry that your adventure had come to a most unfortunate end. It was a close call. The tunnels are swarming with guards. Your little bird came in quite handy. Yes. This dear treasure is very resourceful. Discreet and loyal, too. What next? Which path must I take to reach the Queen? Most importantly, have you considered what you will say to her when she asks how you escaped? I will use it to demonstrate my talents. If she is as ambitious as you have described, she will value my services that much more. Excellent. It would be very unfortunate for both of us if my name were to reach the Queen's ears. She probably hates me as much as she does her imp of a brother. The throne room is at the top of the stairs behind me. At this hour, you should find the Queen in the upper gallery. You always find a way to win on all fronts, don't you? As for me, I will make these bodies disappear. It wouldn't do to add this massacre to your charge. Good luck, my lord. And remember, the queen does not like to be taken for a fool. Business. I am Alistair Sarwick, loyal servant to the Crown. I wish to have an audience with Queen Cersei. The Queen only receives petitioners when holding court. Why don't you explain how you got into the throne room instead? Guards, seize him! Just a moment, Sir Celtigar. Bring me that man. My thanks for granting me an audience, Your Grace. I am Alistair Sarwick of Riverspring, bannerman to House Lannister. Yes, that name conjures something. You're the man who was arrested for murdering the Gold Cloaks. What I don't know, on the other hand, is how you managed to barge straight into the heart of the Red Keep. Explain to me, then, how you were able to evade the Palace Guards. 
If I may be so bold, means matter little to one such as myself. What truly counts are the ends. I could have left this keep without looking back, but I would rather offer my talents to the crown. You may rise, sir. You have my full attention. Many thanks, Your Grace. Despite your goodwill, know that you are taking terrible risks. If I must take you into my service, I would first be certain of your absolute loyalty. How did a prisoner such as yourself come all the way up from the dungeons? Your Grace, I left the Red Keep in order to come of my own free will and submit to your wisdom. I place myself in your merciful hands. Know that I was imprisoned here after an unfortunate misunderstanding. However, it is as your humble servant that I wish to leave the Red Keep. Why do you wish to assist me? What is it you want? I learned that my sister, Eliana, was promised to Valar. An unfortunate choice, I'm afraid. How so? Because he is bastard born, Your Grace. Not only would it be a poor alliance, but our father's blood runs in his veins. I cannot accept such an improper marriage. Let me remind you that Sir Valar was knighted by my own father, Lord Tywin Lannister. That alone should convince you of his merit as future Lord of Riverspring. And if I'm not mistaken, your brother Garwin is accused of killing your father, is he not? When your sister came to see me, I saw no other choice. Sir Valar grew up at Riverspring in the heart of the castle itself. He was the one capable of ensuring the protection of these lands, as well as that of your sisters. With your permission, my lady, I have returned, and as the firstborn son of my house, it is up to me to decide what happens to my family. No doubt my long absence has left me but a distant memory to many here, but I am still my father's lawful heir. Why do you not submit your grievance to the king when he is holding court? I am certain that your request will be granted. Riversbring is under the rule of House Lannister. In any decision regarding its future, the King will defer to you or to your father. I decided to come straight to you in order to avoid wasting time. Very astute, my lord. But you will understand that, however generous she may be, a Queen may not act strictly out of charity. There are important tasks which must be carried out with the utmost discretion and efficiency. Would you be ready to undertake such a task for your queen? My loyalty to my queen has never wavered. Tell me what you wish of me and I will not disappoint. Very well, Sir Alistair. Your request has been heard. Serve me well, and I will make certain that Riverspring is returned to you. Disappoint me, and we will allow the King's justice to follow its course in your regard. That will not happen. I am delighted to hear that. We have it from reliable sources that enemies of the Crown are running unchecked in King's Landing, and I want their heads. And since it appears that you and Sir Valar have the same objective, it is my wish that you carry out this mission together. And why not use this opportunity to find out who is more dedicated, you or your half-brother? Your Grace, I would like to discuss one last matter with you. It concerns my brother, Garwin. I was at Riverspring for my father's burial, and there is, for the moment, no proof that my brother killed our father. I know not who informed the Crown of my brother's guilt, but it would seem that he was judged too quickly. I dare ask one more favor of you. Please withdraw this accusation until there is formal proof of his guilt. I see. It is an enormous boon that you ask of me. Very well. To prove my faith in your abilities, I will lift the reward on your brother's head. The Watch will leave him in peace. For the moment. I praise your grace's generosity. For now, go and await me in the antechamber. There are matters I must discuss in private with Sir Valar. We will speak again shortly. Yeah.
They are just rumors. Alistair, what are you doing here? You were supposed to rot in the dungeons. That is indeed what I feared, but the light of R'hllor guided my steps out. Servalar, the Queen awaits your presence. We shall meet again, Alistair. Sooner than you think.